Hello and welcome. Today this is going to be rather short because half of this has really stumped me. Ever since about April 11th when I first started messing with pistons, I've uh, been trying to figure out a way to activate and deactivate portals using pistons and the deactivation part is really quite simple actually. You just need to have a lit portal and flip a button attached to some redstone that's plugging into a piston. That is literally all you need and I just have them on both sides for symmetrical nisosity and that's it. But for the lighting part it's a problem because whenever pistons are pushing like uh, wood and stuff over some lava or fire it doesn't really light. I've, I've tried it. I don't know if I'm just impatient but it uh, is really difficult to get uh, anything lit and even once you do, it, you'd have to wait for it to burn up. I found that what you can do to light, um, to light the gate itself, to light the portal, is you can either use wool, and wool's a little bit more difficult sometimes. But if you burn it up, either wool or wood, and I find that wood actually works a lot better, but you can burn up wool or wood and you can light the gate that way I've been experimenting with ways to actually move the wood in place and light the gate and see if I can move the wood back out of the place to put it out and do all kinds of stuff but even dumping lava on it or around it and stuff it's just really really difficult to get it to work but as you can see it's possible to get wood that has burnt up or wool even that has burnt up and use that residual fire to light the portal and close it up but using pistons to actually light it up in the first place doesn't seem to be quite as possible as I would hoped it would be but still it's pretty nice that you can just go over light it up and turn it off that's nice uh, you can um, use that to prevent ghasts from spawning or that annoying sound that's always gurgling but um, that's really useful you can't really light it but the putting it out is really really very nice since there's not a lot of really great ways to do that otherwise and since this video is going to be short I figured I'd um, show a couple of things off with this uh, new version I started using because um, oh, I don't remember the reason why I chose to use this version now finally but I went with this version and something I noticed is when you go under a tree look how dark it got all around me all the atmosphere is just super dark all of a sudden and if you walk out in the open everything gets all bright and shiny again. Now I understand you're in the shade but when you look outside into what should be a bright sky it just looks horrible. It looks gloomy and all messed up and stuff. I don't like it. And also you can place paintings on your portals to hide them. That is amazing, isn't it? Yes. Very amazing. And it kind of reminds me of the Super Mario 64 paintings. So if you were going to make an adventure map based on uh, entering paintings, I would suggest you use portals to the nether and um, use paintings to cover it up and then you just step into the painting and you teleport. So that's pretty much it. Um, but hey, this is useful. It's kind of useful and um, you know, easy to set up but if anyone can find a way to light portals that would be an interesting challenge I guess so if anyone can find a way I would love to know see you next time